Hey, what's going on, TikTok? It's your boy, Brother Leon. If you are going to be Christian, you need to be a free thinker. Because the one thing that I've seen about Christians is this, is that a lot of them will not ask questions. A lot of them will not study. They will not read. And the crazy thing about it, the only time they read is when they open their Bible app on Sunday, if that. But the crazy thing about it is that if you are going to be successful in Christianity, you need to be a free thinker. You need to know how to speak and ask questions, set boundaries, but also study. Study the Bible, but also study history. Study the history of the Bible. Because a lot of times, man, when you read certain things, when you start studying certain things, then your eyes will be illuminated to certain things. And a lot of times, a lot of Christians will not ask their pastors questions. They will not ask. And so they end up falling into ditches because their pastor said. And so you have to be the type of person that is willing to ask questions. And another thing, you cannot be afraid. Because I'm going to tell you this. And my bishop said this. He said they will give you religion to control you, but they will never give you truth to free you. And that's the God knows truth. So people are afraid of going to hell. People are afraid of getting devils. People are afraid they're not pleasing God. People are afraid of not pleasing their pastor. And so these are things that make people stay in the Christian faith and do all types of stuff and be extra. And next thing you know, man. Your life, which should be pleasurable, being a Christian ends up being a burden. How did being a being a Christian become a burden? You want to know why it becomes a burden? Because we have taken upon ourselves unnecessary weights, unnecessary responsibilities, and unnecessary truths. I'm serious, man. <laughs> Look, here's a truth that you do not need. You do not need to be in church. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I know the Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. But what is it going to do you if you live in church and your life outside of church is falling apart? So I'm telling you this. Don't allow yourself to be afraid. Don't be hell scared. Don't be devil scared. Because a lot of times, man, your faith is only working because you are afraid. It's not based on love. It's based on fear. And that has been put into you. And some of you, man, you need a heavy hand. Your pastor need to be pimping you and slapping you down all every Sunday with the Bible. And you need to ask yourself why you need that. So if you're going to be Christian, man, think and be a free thinker and be free. Peace.